Hello everyone, this is Phil from undercage.com. Today we got iPhone 5C. So we've gone through the unboxing for the iPhone 5C. Now it's time for us to take a look at it. So this is Apple's answer for the new line of iPhone 5S. What they usually do is when they come out with a new iPhone, they cut down the price of the previous iPhone for 100 bucks and keep selling it. But they figured out that the previous iPhone, iPhone 5, is too pricey for them to cut down the price for 100 bucks. That is to sell it for 100 bucks cheaper. So they got this new, cheaper version of iPhone called the iPhone 5C. All the internals are exactly the same as the iPhone 5, but this one is in plastic. I hope that everyone's seen the Apple's new commercial that plastic perfected. So um, I pretty much don't have anything uh, against the Apple's new commercial plastic perfected because this is indeed plastic perfected. Uh, Let's take a look at the details of the iPhone 5C. On the top over here, we got the power key as usual uh, in plastic. All of the buttons on the iPhone 5C are in plastic, but they are incredibly well built. Uh, let's take a look at starting from the camera over here, but you can see the glass over here. The glass part and the plastic part are almost intact. There is no sort of say any glitches around between the glass and the plastic. On the left is a mute key and the volume rocker also in white plastic, the matching color plastic. These are incredibly well made and the when you press it, it clicks really nicely. I, I really like the way they click. And on the right is a nano SIM card tray, which is incredibly well cut as well. Uh, it's, it's in white, so it kind of uh, gets uh, kind of dirty while you use it, but um, wash your hands before you use it. <laughs> that, that was a joke. Anyway, on the back is a camera as always. Camera, there we go. Camera, microphone, LED flash, and the Apple logo, iPhone, and everything. On the bottom is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, microphone, a lightning port, and a speaker. Overall, the plastic is incredibly well made. Some people have actually been talking that it doesn't feel like plastic. Well, it, it does feel like plastic, it's just that it, they, there's been this story that they put the little metal frame behind the plastic. Maybe it's because of that, but it really feels nice and it feels really sturdy in your hands. And um, let's take a little look between the iPhone 5C and the iPhone 5S. So iPhone 5S is a bit more expensive, 100 bucks more expensive, but uh, I pretty much think that um, there there's, would be people who prefer iPhone 5C over iPhone 5S only for its design. Its design is uh, distinct in a sense and very, very well designed, I should say. And um, internals is, doesn't have many things to say about. It's exactly the same as the iPhone 5, the old iPhone 5, and um, it's just the same, same old iPhone 5 in a different casings. The biggest part over here is that this is the first iPhone along with the iPhone 5S that comes iOS 7 pre-installed. So the biggest difference with the iPhone 5 uh, iOS 7 is that it's got the control center over here that you pull it from the bottom and the control center pops up. And finally, you can toggle Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and everything without going into settings and tapping all those numbers of times. So that's the control center and the notification center over here has been renovated as well. Now it shows more information and now you can close the notification when it comes down there by pulling it uh, and putting it back without having to wait for it to disappear. And multitasking has also got new, uh, redesigned. Instead of little bar over here and the wiggling icons and tapping it uh, simultaneously for uh, closing the multitasking apps, now this has more of a webOS likely design and you can slide it up to close the apps that you don't want to be running on the multitasking bar like that. You don't, you don't have to be that precise when you're having that on your hands, you can just do that. Anyway, that's that. And camera app has also got redesigned. Now it's got little filters over here so you don't have to go to Instagram every single time you wanna apply the filters. The, what is that? The filters uh, here are really nice, most of them. And what is that? The burst shot has got better too. Now you can just simply tap on the shutter key to burst shot. Of course, it's even better on the iPhone 5S as you it takes as many shots as you are keep pressing on that shutter key. But that, that was a camera app. And uh, 
Another good, great thing is the airdrop. Airdrop is a uh, ability for you to share your media through Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi network that two of the devices are both on. So let's say that you're trying to share a photo over here. You choose a, uh, choose a photo and airdrop. And these two are connected in the same Wi-Fi network, so it shows iPhone 5C. Tap on that, and it's gonna ask for you if you wanna accept a photo. Accept it, and there we go. You got a photo. Simple like that. Of course, there are uh, similar functions in the other platforms as well, but this is incredibly easy. And uh, yes, I, 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 am, I am an Apple, uh, Apple fan. But anyway, despite that I'm an Apple fan, this is an incredibly easy function. This is, this is a very handy function. And Safari has been redesigned, Siri's got better, and now you can turn Bluetooth off with Siri and everything, App Store and everything. But that doesn't really matter. The, the biggest part that I really think is important over here is that everybody talks that Apple is a perhaps on, the only company that builds hardware and the software on its own. But this perhaps is the biggest example of how software and hardware goes along with this iOS 7 and the overall look of the iOS 7 goes perfectly with the hardware of the iPhone 5C. iPhone 5C itself has its own distinct look that would appeal to a lot of people, I think. And uh, some people would even choose iPhone 5C over iPhone 5S only for its design. It, these two are very different looking phones. <clears throat> one is in metal, one is in plastic, one is in um, very very, very uh, cutting edge kind of feel and one is a very soft, but it doesn't feel like iPhone 5C is definitely a cheaper version of an iPhone. It's just a different version of the many iPhones. So some people will prefer this uh, 5C over 5S, despite the ugly looking cases. I've already mentioned how ugly those uh, potato shattering machine likely those holes and everything, but um, there are different colors in line, black, blue, pink, is this even pink? Pink and yellow, which all of them are ugly. So I suggest you get another third party case instead of the genuine Apple case. But other than that, iPhone 5C is a great device. The only catch over here is that this one is 100 bucks cheaper, but it doesn't feel exactly quite right for this with a lower, slower processor and the uh, lower specs camera and everything is only 100 bucks cheaper. Had it been 150 to 200 bucks cheaper, it would have been really convincing, but 100 bucks of a price difference isn't exactly the convincing catch. So if you can deal with, the, with this feeling that you only save 100 bucks and there is a huge gap of difference in the specifications, including the Touch ID over here, you're welcome to get an iPhone 5C, but it, 100 bucks doesn't exactly seem the right difference of the price between the 5S and the 5C. Other than that, 5C in general, talking explicitly about the 5C, it's a great phone. It's a great iPhone and it's a great phone. But if, if it's only 100 bucks cheaper than the iPhone 5S, not really sure. If you're not exactly into the 5C design, I would rather spend 500 bucks more and get the 5S with the whole lot better specs and Touch ID, incredibly handy Touch ID that you can just hold your finger and wait for it to unlock. So that was iPhone 5C and we're under cage.com. And on top of the top over there, there should be a subscribe button to our channel. And under there on the second line should be a link to our Facebook page. Go like that to get our latest reviews on the latest phones in the market as fast as you can. This was iPhone 5C by undercase.com and we'll see you guys later on our channel. Thank you always for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.